My name is Mr. Tripi, and I'm going to do a comparison video on tries versus quads using these two pies. So the first thing you'll notice about the difference between the tries and quads is that with quads you can make ring selections, which allows it, you to easily edit certain sections. Well, with tries, you can you can't for the most part. The reason f for this is because uh, with quads you get a nice plus side sign with your edges, and it makes it a lot easier for it to know which way you want to go because it just goes across. Well, with tries, you'll get stuff like this 5.1, and it doesn't know which way is across. You can't tell if it wants to go th on this one or this one. With a mixture of quads and tries, you can get a nice edge flow where um, you can control how it selects. So instead of selecting um, the entire ring, you can go and create a triangle here, and when you go to select it, it will ignore that part, which can be useful in certain areas. Okay, another aspect of uh, triangles versus quads unit modeling is that when you go and subdivide, you will notice that the quad mesh looks a lot cleaner than the triangle mesh. I actually left a n-gon, um, in this case an octagon, on the bottom, which also has problems with subdivision, where It'll subdivide as you expected um, with the quads, but it makes a kind of weird shape with the engon and goes absolutely crazy with the triangles. Now, triangles aren't all bad, they are used in rendering applications because GPUs render triangles instead of any other um, type of polygon. So if you p put this into a rendering engine or a game engine, you will, it will automatically export into tries, but you can also um, do that yourself. Thanks for watching.